Kuti ha kusti tu nache antoko plastiet wish bus hash ya ha ya go. Our canoe is not floating in one place. We're going through life and the landscape around us is changing. And this, what you see here, some would say is unconventional, but we came up with a very good name that I'm sure that all of you will appreciate, the children will appreciate, and the grandchildren will appreciate. In our culture, when we name something, in a, when we're in a real setting, if it were me naming a raven child, the eagles would repeat after me. This validates it. In our culture, saw means breathe, and we know amongst the Tlingit people, ah, saw. Somebody breathed the name into me and gave me life, gave me an identity. Arat Uwu. The real at Uwu all has a name like what I'm wearing here, the herring rock robe. So the pole needs a name. And we came to a conclusion to a name. And I think you'll appreciate it. In, when we say in Klinket, we're holding hands, which jin dus shat, which means we're holding, which is together, hands, jin dus shat, we're holding hands. And what you see here is a history of the Park Service and the Klinket of Sitka and all the other, the Haidas, all the people in Southeast Alaska. They've been holding hands for a hundred years and now we commemorate it in this totem pole. So I'm going to ask each one of you, all of you here to repeat after me. It's real simple and the first part is wooch and then, okay, everybody say wooch, jin, dus, shat, kutia. Okay, we'll do it three times. Which jin does shut kutia? Which jin does shut kutia? Which jin does shut kutia? Okay, you just breathe the name into the pole and it, it'll. 